Hi guys, I'm Dia and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever YouTube video, so I'm super excited. In this video, I will be doing a bathroom makeover for my mom. It's not a surprise as you saw the whole process as I was doing it, but I hope you guys enjoy the video as much as I did making it. So here's a little before of the bathroom and as you guys can see this bathroom is really small and has no storage in here at all so it's really in need of a makeover. I'm going to actually try to challenge myself to keep this makeover for under $400 but we will see how that goes. And in this video, I want to show you guys how you can transform a space without having to spend too much money. And now, without talking any further, let's get started. So as you guys can see, I'm starting off by emptying out the bathroom. There's a lot of things in here since uh, there's no storage in the bathroom. This mirror took me a while to take out, but I did. And I'm here just taking everything away and I'll be back to show you guys what paint I chose. So for the bathroom, I chose to go with Ultra Pure White by Bear. It's a very bright white color and the reason why I chose this color is because it's a very small bathroom and this bathroom doesn't have a window so there's no light coming in so I thought the white would make the room look brighter and bigger. And here I am just painting away and hating my life since I hate painting so much. And don't ask me why I chose to paint with such a small roller, but yeah, just enjoy me painting the walls. So this is after three coats. The paint is still drying, but it's looking a lot better as you can see. Um, so initially I wasn't planning on doing anything to the door, but after I painted the walls, this door looks really bad and really dirty. Um, so I have a little bit of paint left, so I think I'm just gonna paint the door as well and spray paint the knob black because um, gold is not our theme. So if everything is silver, black, white, gray, and the knob kind of throws it off. Okay, now that we're almost done with painting, I'm going to move ahead with our next project, which is spray painting. So here you can see I'm spray painting the existing mirror black. I think spray painting is a really easy and cost-effective way to spice up whatever you have at home. So instead of buying a new mirror, I'm just spray painting my existing mirrors. And as you can see, I'm also spray painting this other mirror that was also in the washroom from before. Honestly, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the full body mirror and then this is the other mirror and honestly you guys like spray painting is so therapeutic like I love spray painting and once I start spray painting I want to like spray paint everything in my house so um, it's addicting but this is what it's looking like. I think it completely transformed the look of the mirror it looks so much better now and now i'm going to spray paint one last thing and that is not a mirror it's a basket that i got from dollar tree um dollarama but um it's gold and it doesn't go with the aesthetic of the bathroom because everything in the bathroom is going to be like 
black white gray um so i'm going to spray paint that black as well so yeah So I actually lied. I ended up spray painting two other things. Um, this one is the toilet paper rack that was already in the washroom. I didn't want to buy another one so I'm just spray painting it black and trust me it looks so much better. And this is a tray that was also in the washroom from before but I'm just spray painting it black and it actually fully transformed the way it looks and it looks so much better. Okay, so it's flooring time. I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using for the floors, which is these Floor Pops uh, peel and stick floor tiles. I got them from their website, um, Wall Pops. I think you can also buy them from Amazon, but I'm not sure if it's um, only in USA or if you can also ship it um, to Canada. But the shipping didn't take that long from their website. I think it took around like two weeks which isn't too bad and it's actually not that hard to apply and all you need is just like a pair of scissors to cut the edges and stuff so this is what they look like and they're not super thick either it's pretty pretty thin if you can see and they're kind of flexible but these are waterproof so these are safe for the bathroom and you can honestly put them anywhere you can you can probably put it on the wall as well if you want to do like a like a statement wall you can put them in your kitchen in your bathroom it doesn't really matter so to start off the flooring i first like to kind of put them on the floor just to see where I want them to be so here you can see I'm starting with the middle because I wanted the middle pieces to be full pieces and then make the side pieces the half pieces where I would make the cuts so as you can see I'm just kind of laying them on the floor to kind of figure out how I want to lay them out and stick them on the floor and it's very very easy to apply and you just have to make sure that your floor is really clean and dry. So to make the cuts, I used the paper backing that came with the tiles as a stencil. So what I did was I taped it to the floor and I marked it and then I taped it back with the tiles and then I just used scissors to follow the line and cut through the tile. And I would recommend cutting in smaller sections rather than bigger sections just because you can always go back and cut more. It's honestly a trial and error process and I made a lot of mistakes and I had to make lots of cuts so I would always recommend buying more tiles just to have as backup.
and to finish off the flooring I'm just caulking the edges this is a great step to hide all your mistakes and make your edges look super clean and the flooring is done hi guys so we're back with another DIY and this time we're doing the DIY shelves so I got these um, pine wood uh, pieces from Home Depot and I got them cut with my measurements and basically I'm going to be spray painting them white actually I'm not sure if I want to spray paint them or if I want to just paint them with regular paint like wall paint but I'm gonna see um, if the spray paint works if it doesn't work then i will probably just use the same wall paint that i used in my bathroom but anyway this is actually a great way to save money when doing room makeovers so instead of buying actual shelves which would have cost me a lot of money i saved up a lot of money using these pine wood pieces at home depot you can get a really long piece of pine wood for around like 15 dollars and i got it cut and i got um three pieces out of it so here I am spray painting the pieces and I actually ended up painting them with my wall paint because the spray paint wasn't sticking that well so I would recommend just going ahead with wall paint instead of spray painting it so moving on as you can see here I am screwing the brackets to the pine woods and I'm just using the regular plain brackets from Home Depot. They're around a dollar each and I'm just using some regular wood screws and a regular drill to drill them in. Moving on, so here you can see I am just putting the shelf on the wall, making sure it's straight, leveling it out, and just marking where I need to drill holes. So here I am drilling holes and I don't know about you guys but I always feel so scared whenever I'm drilling holes. I just feel like the wall is going to fall off and collapse but here I am just being brave, taking risks and drilling away. So moving on as you can see I'm just hammering the anchors in the wall. Always make sure you anchor before putting something heavy. So since I'm putting on the shelf, I want to make sure they're fully supported. So when I put in heavy uh, things on top of it, it's not going to fall off. So yeah, always make sure you anchor before putting something on the wall. If you know they're going to be heavy. So moving on to our last step, uh, which is just attaching the shelf to the wall. So as you can see here, I'm just putting the screw and drilling it in. And hopefully you guys are not as dumb as me. I forgot that my drill was on the reverse mode. So the screw wasn't going in. It was just coming out and I couldn't figure it out. For the longest time, I think it took me a good 10 minutes to figure out why my screw wasn't going in and it kept falling and it kept falling until I figured it out. So after wasting 10 minutes, I finally figured out that my drill was at the wrong setting. So I fixed it and I just screwed the shelves on the wall and it was as easy as that. So I went ahead and did the same thing to the other wall as well. It's very repetitive so I'm not going to bore you guys with 
the instructions again. So here you can see I'm just hammering some screws on the wall to put in the towel rack that I got from Ikea and tell me why it wouldn't come with screws. So just a heads up, if you do get this um, towel rack from Ikea, it won't come with any screws so make sure you have screws at home. Oh my god you guys, so the hard part is finally done and we can now finally start to decorate. So let's get started! Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm standing in the finished bathroom. And before I show you guys the final reveal, do you guys want to know how much I spent in total? $300! So, I can't believe that it was actually under $400, but I'm so happy. And this is like a perfect example that you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to do a room makeover. It can be easily done with just a couple hundred dollars. So now without talking any further, let me show you guys the reveal. Before I close this video, I just wanted you guys to take a little moment to appreciate this section right here. I love it so much. I can't believe that I got these shelves to be literally like the perfect width size to match this uh, space right here. And oh my gosh, one more thing that I want to show you guys is these frames. Tell me how. I got these frames from Dollarama and this print that was inside the frame is like the perfect print. Like it's just like a uh, print of like a beach and it looks so calming. It's like it's so peaceful in here and this print right here I just went from Canva. I just wrote wash brush floss flush and got it printed from a printing store. And yeah that's all I wanted to show you guys. and. 
please 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 comment down below and let me know what type of videos you want me to make next and subscribe to my channel like comment and share that's all that's all you can do right oh yeah and hit the bell icon because why not and until then bye